Greetings comrades Soviet Gaming here, today we are doing another Peaks of Time adventure that's called Rancid Forest and this is a quick guide so all the unnecessary stuff will be out and all the important stuff will be in. But before we start I wanted to do one little thing that is to subscribe to this channel, hit that bell button, like the video right now in advance before we start otherwise you might forget. So Rancid Forest is a really interesting map because here everything is covered by the leaves and you gotta look for the proper path. In order to get to the boss fights, you gotta get all those platforms, magical platforms out there. You can go either with the green ones or the blue ones. Also, as you will progress through the map, you will be ambushed by those guys around, so you'll have to fight them and uh, they can drop relics for you. As for the team composition, I suggest using your normal team, which you usually use in the campaign, your core team, because they should be the best one for this uh, bit of time adventure. Okay, guys, so... When you stepped on this stone over here, there will be a blue symbol that will appear over here. So you can go either with the green ones or the blue ones. I would strongly recommend going with the blue ones because you have to collect less of those. And moreover, more symbols are activated, the stronger the last boss will be. So if you don't want to fight super strong enemy, you don't want to go with all the symbols. In this playthrough, we will go with the blue ones because, um, well, it will be less symbols and it will be way easier to kill the last boss. And I recommend fighting as many fights as possible to get as many relics as possible to get your team stronger and getting ready for the boss fight. There is another green symbol over here so we won't go this way, instead we'll go south. And some spots on the map will trigger an ambush like this one. So you'll have to fight those guys in order to progress and each of those will drop relics. So you want to kill as many of them as possible. Let's do it now and punish those guys. Oops, I accidentally collected the chest before getting the relics but that's the way you want to go, you, go, you want to go south right now. Alright, now when all the guys are dead, we're collecting the relics. I'll get this one. Uh, this one. And... Uh, uh, let's say this one. I'm maining the light bear team, so I don't need the wilder uh, things here. And we're going south, and here we'll, get it, we'll be getting another ambush that we'll have to kill. Alright, they're out, let's get... Oh, this is nice. Let's get those relics. Alright, now we go east in this forest and uh, we want to step over here to get another ambush to get more relics. Let's kill them all. Alright, those guys are dead. Let's get all those relics. When this is done, you want to go on the top area, on the top row. So make sure to go at this spot that will activate the green symbol. It says green, but it's actually blue. <laughs> yeah, it will activate the blue symbol and there is a green one right here. And you don't really want to click on this one, so the boss won't get stronger. If you can, if you can kill the elite guys over here, you should go for them. I think our team is pretty good and we'll give it a try. If not, you can always... If, if the fight doesn't work in your favor, if you're losing it, you can always go and try it again or exit the battle and come later. For example, right now I want to go for Shimir specifically, so I'll be placing a tail over here. And uh, yeah, let's kill them. Alright, that got us the new relic, the legendary one, which is actually pretty good. And uh, inside here we have the first uh, rare chest. And it contains three summon scrolls for the faction summon. Not a problem for light bear team. Um, yeah, let's go with the defense. I think we have at least five, five fights in front of us. And there is a small chest that contains some dust for you. And you want to go around here, all the way to the left now. And one step lower. Surprise, another ambush. Let's kill them. Alright, now let's get some more relics. This time it's elite one. That's really nice. And defense rating removal. Alright, from here you want to step on this spot to activate another blue symbol. So we need only two more in order to get to the boss. And actually the boss isn't getting that much stronger. So we should be beating him no problem. And now we'll be getting those chests with gold, gold, and of course, gold. <laughs> right, and uh, stepping over here will cause another ambush. Get in the chest, fight in the ambush. Right, with those guys gone, we're getting yet another relic. And moving forward, here we'll have a chest of diamonds and another chest of diamonds as well. Pretty repetitive. Alright, um, from here on, you would like to follow in the middle of this little forest over here, and you'll be getting surrounded by 
really angry enemies, but, well, they are not really angry and you can actually kill them quite easily. Let's do just that and get those relics. Be mindful that while you're getting those relics over here, you don't want to have any relics that increase your attack or defense each fight for next 5 or 7 fights, because you don't have that many fights left, you have about several. So it might not be that efficient. Other than that, when you got those relics, you want to step over here, that will activate another blue symbol, and you have only one left. Guess where it is? We are going south. Get in this small chest, it awards us with the dust, and another ambush. This is the last one before the boss. The last guy is down, intelligence should be good for me. Get in this chest, found another enemy, let's kill him, why not? There we go, this time we'll go for this. And now all we have to do is step over here, and that activates the last blue symbol, and it's making a bridge to this area. So, uh, oh yeah, there is one more enemy, that's nice, and some chests. Those chests contain dust and probably dust. Oh, error, that's interesting. And uh, yeah, the enemies aren't that strong, so they didn't got OP, and we can kill them quite easily. Let's kill this guy, and we'll be heading towards the boss over here to fight him. So we have the cane here and several spellcasters. Let's see how it will go. I am I haven't fought this for a while. Considering the power comparison, we should be able to kill, <laughs> to kill them no problem. Uh, that is way too easy, guys. Way too easy. Alright, so we got him, we're getting the relic from him. Uh, I'll get this one. I guess I was lucky with the relics. And we're getting the epic chest. Boom, we got those Dura's Eye fragments for improving the Dura's Eye artifact. And the Reigns Veiler, well, legendary armor. But don't be in a hurry, don't leave just yet, because you have the whole area here to explore. So you can go there by yourself and kinda, you know, kill everyone and explore it by yourself. Now uh, you can step anywhere and that won't harm you. Or you can go over this journey with me because I'll show you what will be there as well. The green symbol, as you can see, the green symbols raise more of those green bridges, but it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, there is a fight over here. So we can fight them all, but we don't really need to because we already killed the boss. So I'll be just taking this relic and moving forward, over here we have one green symbol over here. And another one over here, so in case if you want to go the green route, by some of the reason, I don't know why, you can do it like that. And by the way, the boss respawned, that's really funny. Alright, get in here, you're getting an ambush and you get in this chest. In order to get the chest over here, you gotta fight those guys, so let's do that. That's giving us a relic, uh, I don't know, all of those are useless. Doesn't matter, we're strong already. Here is another green symbol, if you still want it. And another enemy to kill before we get in the chest. Come on, we're getting this chest and it will be dust. There we go. Now we're going up here and going all the way to the east. If you want to fight someone else, you can step here and it will give you another ambush. Let's kill the bottom one that will allow us to go further. From here, you can go all the way to the south and uh, taking this guy out, taking one of the last chests. All right, we're getting... Uh, yeah, we're getting this thing instead of the sword. Getting this epic chest over here. It's another summon scroll for the faction summons. And this chest over here that contains some more dust. So if you want to have the last uh, bridge part, it will be right here. Let's get it. And I actually want to see how strong the boss will be now when we have all the seals, if he will die just as fast. And you might be wondering, where the hell is the last piece? The bridge isn't completed, Soviet, you lied to me. No, the last one is over here, I forgot about him actually. Let's go and get the last green symbol. Getting assassinated, symbol is activated, and there we go, the bridge is completed, the enemy boss is OP right now, let's see if he can fight us properly, let's see if he can kill us now. Well, he got way stronger, let's see how he is in the actual fight, because before that he was like twice as weak as we are, nah, it doesn't matter, they will be decimated in any case, because our team is way too strong. <laughs> and yeah, Viper Marsh 
is unlocked, Rancid Forest is 100% completed. And if you guys are interested, I used the map from AFK Guide, uh, because it made going through this voyage, uh, through these Peaks of Time adventures so much easier, I wouldn't have to actually explore everything I did back in the day. But now I can see where everything is, and how useful it is, and where I have to go to get the proper rewards. Let me know in the comments if this guide was useful for you or not. While you go in there, hit that like button, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that notifications are on, it's really important for YouTube and for me as well. If you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter for my lifestyle and thoughts, on Twitch for live streams, and you can join our Discord for our fantastic community, all the links are in the description, so make sure to check them out. That's about it for now guys, Sweet out, see ya comrades, bye.